That's because the main chamber of commerce really has only always supported open borders and cheap labor, even though Mainers haven't had an actual wage increase in about 30 years. Um, and we keep being told that we need more workers at the same time that we're expanding and giving massive subsidies now to the abortion industry so we can kill our own people. But we have to import all these people so we can continue to have a stream of cheap labor. And I would just also say, you know, remember the Maine State Chamber of Commerce also was always partnered with the big education lobby. They were behind uh, proficiency-based diplomas, common core standards, anything that creates worker bees and not critical thinkers in the education field. Um, the Maine State Chamber reported that, so it's not surprising to see the Maine State Chamber uh, supporting this situation as well. Um, but make no mistake about it, we have a rogue, out of control government in Augusta right now. We are being run like a banana republic. And you know, that's why, look, they're trying to change how we vote. We have ranked choice voting. They're pushing national popular vote. And now they want to import thousands of people from the third world and give them voting rights as well, which is why they refuse to address it. At the meanwhile, uh, the, the left in the legislature has rejected any protections for free speech. So they are trying to quash our ability to speak out. And I'm on today to tell you that if we don't speak out now, look, you're going to get called names. This is all the left has because they don't have any facts. We win this argument. And when it comes to this immigration issue, we shouldn't be afraid to speak out. You're going to get called names. So what? I've been called them all. Um, but um, I see it online, though. And in the last week, there has been a dramatic shift. Something is happening. There is a movement building in this state. And we need to harness it. But be on the lookout. They are going to be trying to pass emergency funding so that we can continue to fund this man-made crisis. And, and let's be real here. Um, it's not that we don't have compassion on the asylum seekers. These are human pawns in a game that is being played by global elites and their partners in Augusta here in the state of Maine as well as nonprofit organizations. Like